What is going on guys? Joshua Finley here, aka Kamikachi Juice. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the 10 foods that are destroying your fitness goals every single day. The first is alcohol. I know this is not a food, but alcohol is a huge gains killer. Alcohol is something that definitely slows down your metabolism. You pack on belly fat like crazy. And alcohol for me was something that when I was trying to transfer my body, I completely had to give up alcohol. And I know that the naysayers will tell you alcohol within moderation is okay. Alcohol has a lot of empty calories. Just completely cut out alcohol. You do not need it. Pizza. Now, pizza is something that we all love. And I'm not saying that all pizza is bad for you. There are ways to make pizza healthy, like adding spinach or certain vegetables to your pizza. However, pizza is also something that can hinder your weight loss goals. You do not need the dough, you do not need the cheese. It sits in your stomach and it definitely is just very slow digesting food that will make you gain belly fat. Ice cream. Ice cream is loaded with sugar. A lot of you guys out there, you have your late night sweet tooth, watching a movie, Sunday nights, whatever the case may be. The more you eat it, the more you're gonna crave it. Out of sight, out of mind. When you go grocery shopping next time, do not buy ice cream. Breakfast cereals. Now, breakfast cereals I know is something that everybody likes to have every morning because we've been kind of brainwashed in a sense of having cereal for breakfast, but a lot of them are loaded with sugar. Sugar is a gain killer. Sugar is something to avoid in 2021. Sugar is something that is hindering your fitness goals. You see where I'm going with this? I believe that you do not need to have breakfast cereal, especially if your focus and main goal is weight loss. White bread. Now, I'm not saying all bread to cut out, but right now, if your focus and goal is to lose weight, you want to eliminate white bread. White bread is filled with preservatives. If you're trying to get rid of stubborn uh, belly fat or you're trying to lose the love handles, white bread is something that slowly digests in your body and it is something that you definitely want to eliminate. I, when I was transforming my body, I completely cut out bread for three months and it was definitely a key factor in why I lost 70 pounds in 90 days. Pop and juice. You definitely do not need any pop and juice. I replace the pop and juice with water. If you find that you're having trouble drinking water, then do what I did. And I had lemon slices in my water, or sometimes I would put strawberries or blueberries um, in my water to give it a little bit of natural flavor. And the natural sugars that comes from the fruit, uh, rather than having artificial flavors like pop and juice. And from my Americanos out there, soda. No soda, no juice. Potato chips, to all you, you know, snackers out there. I know you love potato chips, me, myself. I was a huge potato chip lover. Completely cut out potato chips from your diet. You do not need it. There is literally zero nutritional value in, in potato chips. Super high in saturated salts, fats, raising your cholesterol, could spike your blood levels, leading to diabetes and a lot of heart problems later on down the road. So completely eliminate chips from your diet. Chocolate. Now, I'm not saying all chocolate is bad. They do say a little bit of dark chocolate is okay within moderation. But I personally feel to completely cut out all chocolate, especially when it is a time when you are transforming your body. When your focus is weight loss, completely eliminate chocolate. Chocolate has a lot of sugar, then turns into fat. So it's something that you just completely eliminate. Fast food. Now fast food was something that I personally was a huge lover, fan, fanatic, whatever you want to call it for. There was a point in my life when I was eating fast food, probably five to six days. On the other day that I wasn't having fast food, I was most likely ordering takeout. Um, a great way to, you know, lose weight, cut out the fast food because it's, it's a lot of salt, it's a lot of oils that you don't really know how they're preparing the food. A lot of it, there's no nutritional value in it, which leads to, you know, a lot of health conditions. Completely cut out fast food and start to pre prepare your own home cooked meals. It is something that is very important with weight loss and you will thank me later. Your body is a huge reflection of your lifestyle and that is something that I live by because I feel that when you eliminate the fast food, you're forced to eat at home, preparing your own meals, you're even saving on your grocery bill. So it's a win-win. Lastly, 
sugar, added sugar. And now I know I'm sounding a little repetitive here, but you gotta understand, sugar is a killer. You add sugar to your coffee, you add sugar to your tea, you add, you sprinkle sugar on your cereal. Some people, I've seen people put sugar on their fruits. Completely cut out sugar. Sugar is something that leads to a lot of health problems. It does not digest fast in your body, it slows down your metabolism, it leads to obesity, diabetes, health problems later on down the road. And nowadays we have a lot of younger people who are affected by the negative effects of sugar. The only sugar that I, I personally intake is the natural sugars that's in our fruits. There's a lot of natural sugar in fruits that your body actually can eat, which is good for you. Uh, doing a lot less harm and damage on your insides than artificial sugar. And there's tons of artificial sugar in a lot of your favorite places. Starbucks, McDonald's, Tim Hortons, you know, KFC. The list can go on and on and on. There's tons of sugar and salt in a lot of these things. So completely eliminate sugar and watch the wonders that it does to your body. These are my tips. The top 10 foods that are destroying your fitness goals. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are new. Like this video. Comment on it. Let me know your thoughts. Maybe there's some things that I missed. Maybe there's some things that you'd like to add. Um, this is a huge community and I, I plan to upload more videos just like this because my transformation is something that I feel I want to spread more um, awareness to because there's a lot of people out there who could be looking for the facts and I'm giving it all away for free. Share this video if you know somebody out there that's looking to start a weight loss journey and is looking for some tips, I can help you out. Once again, Joshua Finley, Kamakachi Juice, I'll holla.